Hello, welcome to my apartment in Paris. I'm gonna stay here for the next month and as you can hear, I got sick right before I left and came here, but I figured I'd document everything anyways. I made very good use of my first morning here in Paris. Had a super nice breakfast, nice coffee, and now um, I just went to a pharmacy to get a lot of skincare items. <clears throat> I decided I was gonna leave most of my skincare in Berlin because a lot of the things were just running out and I would have either had to order them before I leave and take fresh ones with me or uh, there is no second point. That's the point, um, that everything was running out and I would have had to order it anyways. And I thought, I'll just use a chance, the sign from the universe, to get some skincare here in France. That's the one thing that's probably cheaper in Paris than in Berlin, the skincare here. If you go to the right pharmacies, you will find super good deals for all the French pharmacy brands. And I figured I'd use this video to show you what I bought because I know that at least one of my friends is gonna love this video and secondly I love to share this kind of stuff um, and then I'm also gonna show you in this video um, in addition to what I bought what I brought with me like a kind of like skincare Parisian pharmacy skincare plus my essentials from back home so First, these two serums from La Roche-Posay. I've been wanting to try them basically since they come out. Instagram has targeted me with these ads forever, but I could not bring myself to pay 70 euros for this in Germany. So I bought them here at the pharmacy. Still expensive, but much less expensive than in Germany. I just have to cut in here real quick because I was just, I just filmed that video. And now I'm going through my photos using this Get Sorted app to basically delete old pictures that I don't need anymore. And I literally found a screenshot I took of these serums in June 2020. And now it's June 2021 and I, I made that come true. <laughs> I just thought it's funny that I found it right now. Um, <clears throat> on this day when I just bought these products... That I'm gonna sort through this picture. It was meant to be. Back to all the other stuff I bought. <laughs> so these are the first one. It's a vitamin C serum and a hyaluronic acid serum. That's basically what I use in my skincare already. I use a vitamin C infused cream at night and <clears throat> hyaluronic acid in the morning and in the evening. So that is that. Then the next thing I bought is this Mousse Nettoyante Fleur de Vigne from Coralie. And it's basically a foaming cleanser to wash off all the makeup and sunscreen in the evening. Then what do we have next? Another La Roche-Posay product. Um, it's the sunscreen. Also, I think... I don't know if this is new, but literally a lot of people on my Instagram are talking about this and I am a highly influenceable person. Influen I don't know. I know that influential is when you influence someone, but what do you say when you're easy to influence? I am. I am. I want stuff that I see online. Um, so yeah, I bought this. It's. I was gonna buy the, like... Hyaluronic SPF that Laurage Posay brought out, but I saw that it's only um, the Lichtschutz factor, whatever that is in English, protection 30. Um, and I always use 50 on my face. So, yeah, excited to see how that goes. Then, next, oh, a classic, just my cellar water, the one from Bioderma, the classic one. I was thinking about buying the Adventures and buying a different one because they obviously brought out variations of it by now, but decided to just stick with what I know and what's good. <clears throat> For moisturizer, I bought this Embryolis La Creme uh, Concentré Multifunctioning Nourishing Moisturizer. 
um, I figured it's kind of do the job, and I always wanted to try it. Then, next, we have a shower gel from Ducret Laboratory Dermatologique, um, and it's basically just for washing your face and body in the morning and in the evening, if you want to. <laughs> and, yeah. Then, in addition to this, I bought, against my cold, vitamin C. I figured that would be helpful. Not so exciting though. Nail files, because I forgot to bring nail files. Same with these. Forgot to bring Q-tips. And then, tissues. Because, as you might hear, I have a cold, or had a cold, and I'm slowly recovering from it. And that's all. That's all that I bought. I hope you enjoy this little peek into the skincare I bought. Um, let me take you to the bathroom and show you everything else that I have here. Welcome to my little bathroom for the second part of this video, where I show you everything basically that I have here in terms of skincare, body care, everything. Let's dive in. So here we have the section of all the new things because most of this is skincare so I would have grouped it together anyways. And a little peek right here is the shower so the shower gel is just going to rest on this shelf because the shower doesn't have a shelf itself. Then let's move on. Here I have a little dish with my microcurrent um, face massager and my gua sha because I forgot the little stand that I have for it at home but this will definitely work for a month. Then we have makeup, um, an eyeshadow palette, uh, contouring palette and uh, cream eyeshadow that is like a beautiful bronzy tone, I love it. Then moving on to makeup, <laughs> so I have a few brushes for masks, blush, little eyebrow um, thing, gel, mascara, this is the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Mascara, I really like it, some concealer, the True Match Concealer, uh, my Tinted Moisturizer, and two lipsticks, I decided to bring these two, this one is basically my favorite, let me do this with one hand, my favorite nude. It's the perfect nude for my personal skin tone. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this here. And then my lip glow, which is very pinkish in the packaging, but it's beautiful when you put it on your lips, I think. And this one is so loved, I have no clue what shade it is. Then, moving on, we have body care, my body lotion, which every woman in my family on my mother's side uses this. And my mom got me this special edition as a farewell gift, and she said, if I miss home, I can just put this on, and then it'll smell like home, which is very true. The scent always reminds me of my mom, my aunt, my grandma, in the best way possible. <laughs> Um, and then my favorite deodorant, the Marlene and Guts Eucalyptus deodorant, it's so good. And my summer perfume, Un Jardin en Méditerranée by Hermès. I love this for summer, it's so nice and fresh. So yeah, that's everything up here. And then down here, I just have toothbrush stuff, which you need to smell good, I guess. I hope... You enjoyed this little peek into my skincare um, everything that I bought and everything that I brought. I'm sorry if you saw me scratching my arm. I have a really bad mosquito bite <laughs> and it's so itchy. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the first video of I think a lot of videos since I'm staying in Paris for a month. It's a super exciting time in my life. Um, I'm so grateful that I get to do this, that I get to work from here, that my company allows this, that my boyfriend is okay with me just leaving for a month and he takes care of the puppy. Just feeling very loved and enabled by the people around me. Um, and yeah, I want to capture all the memories, everything that I'm doing here, so I have, have it for myself to look back on. So 
I hope you enjoy some Paris content because there's gonna be a lot of it. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for today. Gonna leave it at that. Have a beautiful day, whatever you're doing today, and I'll see you soon. Bye!